Yeah. Did Tony tell you my bird flew away? Well, guess who's back? <laughs> yeah, he had been gone for about an hour and a half, two hours, and I was sitting out on the deck and I heard him hollering and I come out the front door and I called his name and he answered and I called his name and he answered and I saw him up in the tree and he jumped from, went from one tree to the next tree and then um, I called him, I was like, come on, Lucky. And he was up in this one tree and I'm gonna tell you, he did a nose dive. He had his wings back and everything. And he did this nose dive and then right before he got to my head, he spread his wings out and landed right on top of my head. Yep. And um, so we were sitting out on the front porch and uh, I told Chris to get my blanket. I was gonna come back out here in the grass and sit with him and let him play around in the grass. And he flew up and got in one of those bushes right beside the steps, one of my burning bushes. And a damn mockingbird come and tried to get him and he flew off and I called him. I said, lucky, lucky, lucky. And here he, he come and got on my head. <laughs> He's here, here's something funny. He's coming come running towards me. He's, he's chasing he's chasing Christopher right now. He's trying to eat his shoe string. <laughs> <laughs> he's never had birds like that do that before. You should have seen him. He was like a he was like a bullet. He goes head first off of that damn wheel. Like a bullet come after me. And landed right on my head. Yeah, it was. I don't know what to think about it. Maybe when he gets a little older, he might decide to find the hair on the head. He's finding all sorts of ant hills. Is he eating bugs? He ain't pecking away. <laughs> you got that shell again. <laughs> what are you doing, Lucky? Oh, he's after a bug. You see? <laughs> All right. Well, you tell him when he comes in that Lucky come home. <laughs> Okay. Bye. <coughs> what? What is it, baby? Lucky, lucky. Lucky duck. Lucky duck. This morning he was feeling frisky and he was wanting to play or fight and I was doing my hand like this uh -huh. and he bowed all of his feathers up on us. Let's see. Lucky. Watch you. <laughs> See him doing his feathers on his head? <laughs> <laughs> See his feathers? Yeah. critters in the dirt. Yeah. We're looking for some critters. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's like, here, Mom, ha hold this for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she took a side. Oh, he, he found something. More shells. Uh oh, anthill. Hello? No, he um he was up in the, the burning bush 
and a damn mockingbird come down and tried to get him and he flew around the yard and I called him and he come got on my head. <laughs> now he's running around out. Hey tubers, it's Graves are here. And that was another lucky the bird moment. <laughs> yeah, he's gotten to where he got used to being around outside. And um he actually left for for an hour, like Mom says. He, I don't know if you actually heard the story, but he left for an hour. But then Mom heard him outside just squawking away, you know, like he normally does. And, you know, she was looking around for him, and he was up in one tree, hopped up and flew over to the next. Mother called him again, and he nosedived his way to her. Wings back and everything. And what he's doing right now, he's just pecking around outside, looking for bugs to eat, as you saw. So apparently we got ourselves a new pet in the family until he gets a little older to where he'll probably fly off on his own and probably won't come back, you know, since, you know, he's at that age. But we'll see what happens. And in the meantime, he's considering.